An older brother makes his little brother cry at school today, and for all the right reasons. Andrew Irvin has been away for the last two months at Fort Benning for basic training. Andrew's younger brother Dylan thought he was coming home in February, but Andrew decided to surprise Dylan at Pond Elementary School. I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> it was acres to sit me down, and I was in trouble, and then played out really well. Thanks to Quicken Loans' miles for military, Andrew was able to fly home for free. It's great. Quicken Loans is just, it's great that Quicken Loans could pull something together like that and really make things like this possible for a lot of people. It's just a nice gift to be home with everybody and to just enjoy the time and the holiday with everybody. Andrew will spend the next two weeks with his family before he returns to service. You have to get some time away. It definitely helps. And knowing I only have a month left when I go back and I'm done, so it's, it's nice to be able to have two weeks off to recover and heal up a little bit, take on the last month. And it looks like Andrew and Dylan are already back to doing what brothers do best. Why'd you cry like such a girl? Because, Andrew, I haven't seen you in two months. I haven't seen you in two months, and I cry like a girl. <laughs> I didn't think I'd miss him, of all people, but oh. yeah, I definitely did. Once I was gone, to see him again was just as nice. Now that I get two more weeks to just torture him while I'm here to make up for all the lost time. But was it a nice surprise? Yes, it was. Best Christmas for the breast Christmas. Best Christmas. I need you to stand right there. Dear graduating class of 2016, we are honored to have specialist Michael Morissette of Alpha Company 325. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Oh yeah, you are now getting videotaped. All right, walk with me. All right, finally got him. There he is. All right, his mom is gonna geek out when we show up there. You ready for this? She's going to. Uh, she probably won't. But it's for a good cause, I kind of. Not if she dies. That'd be for a really bad cause. But we will find out after probably about five delays and multiple hours in Chicago. He's finally here back home. So we will continue this later. We're about to go surprise Josh's mom right now. Say it. Tell your mom hi. She's going to be seeing this later. Hi, Mom. See you in about five seconds. All right. So let's see how she reacts. All right. Let's do this thing. You're off for Halloween. <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta leave. She's <laughs> visiting your mom. Hey, 
You should see me. Yeah. That was a great turnout. Thanks. Definitely surprised game, both of them. Next, Hannah. This is this is gonna be great. It's gonna be epic. Here we go. We're going in to go I don't see know how Hannah. To um, we'll see Let's see how this goes. This is definitely becoming, it's going to be an awesome video. You go see his nephew, Bryson. I'm not too sure this one's going to go. I think he's going to stare at me. He might, but let's find out. Let's see how this one goes. It depends on the movies. Yeah. All right, here we go. Good time. Straight down which way? I thought she said straight down that way. I thought that went there, yes. There it is. Oh, there it is. He's so Bryson. shy. It's Grandma Jane. How <laughs> 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 what do you want to do today, huh? <laughs> what do you think, baby? <laughs> I just got done seeing his nephew. It was awesome. He definitely was horribly excited. Ran across. I've never seen a little kid run so fast to see him. It would have been funny if he tripped. That, that would have been bad. Did you get Bryson right. running? Yes, I got Bryson running. I knew you would, Nano. So, I can't get anything to work on the next <laughs> other thing. You so, know. definitely was worth everything. Yes, definitely was worth absolutely everything. Everything going to the airports many times and everything. Definitely, ow, ran into the door. Definitely was worth it. So, got anything to say? Woo! Woo! Alright, bye. <laughs> has been in Kuwait for the past five months. He came here to Warner Park to surprise his 16-year-old daughter, Victoria, while she was playing softball. But what he didn't realize was that his family had plans of their own. For the past 28 years, Michael Zarbo has been known as a U.S. Army serviceman. But just for one day, he's trading in his uniform for an umpire hat because today he's only known as Dad. When they asked me to do this, I originally said no. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to draw the attention of myself. Uh, nor did I want to draw the attention of Victoria. Zarbo has been stationed in Kuwait for the past five months, but today he decided to do something extra special for his 16-year-old daughter, Victoria, something everyone else knew about, well, except for her. Mike Zarbo. Mike, Mike Zarbo. Zarbo. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I was kind of nervous because uh, I didn't know if it was going to go off uh, 
go off as planned, but it, it went off without a hitch. And to see her, you talk about shock and awe. Uh, I think that's what I just saw there, shock and awe. How does it feel to see your dad right now? Great, oh my gosh, I can't even like, I can't even think right now. But the surprise didn't stop there. This time, it was a surprise for the colonel himself. His other kids also stopped by for a visit. Oh my goodness. What's up, Dad? Hey, what's up? What's up, Dad? How, How are you doing, man? It's great to see you. you know, he's mentioned a few times that he's wished the other kids were here, or he wished I could have brought this, you know, I wish my granddaughter was here. And, um, it was very hard for me not to slip and say, well, they are, they're here. It's a commitment, it's a sacrifice, but it's something that, that uh, I just feel like I was put on this planet to do. Colonel Zabra will spend the day here in Chattanooga with his family, and then after a couple days, he'll head back to Kuwait. Reporting here at Warner Park, Alyssa Sparado, News Channel 9.